Hello everyone, my name is Araceli Garcia and I am your ELA TOSA for secondary schools here in our district, Hacienda La Puente Unified. Um, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on how to access your students' performance task scores. So let's jump right in. First of all, you want to go to the website. So there's the website link and you want to make sure that uh, you put in your information, right? So you log in and it's going to take you here to this page. And in this page, you're going to click on SIRS, uh, the California Educator Reporting System. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Then it's going to take you to this page here. And you're going to go all the way down to where it says search by school. So it is going to ask you to log in using your credentials. If for some reason you forgot your password, just go ahead and click forgot password and they will email it to your school email. You go ahead and put your grade, right, the school and of course the grade that was tested for high school. Of course, we know it was your 11th graders. When you get to this page, uh, you're going to have your school there. Make sure you again put that grade level and uh, it does default to the 2023-24 school year. So you need to make sure you change it to the 22-23 uh, so that you can access last year's scores. Of course, our students haven't taken this year's test yet. So you want to use last year's scores. Once you are there, it'll take you to this page. On this page, it'll default, the assessment will default to, I believe, the science test. So if you're looking for ELA, all you have to do is go down here and click on grade 11 ELA summative, right? And unclick the other test that you have there. So that's how you're going to do that. It'll then take you to this page where you will see again, a, a holistic kind of a, just a general overview of how all of your students did. Uh, you can again, click on, if you want to see the numbers there, right? Or if you want to see the percentages. Uh, so this kind of uh, gives you a little breakdown. Make sure to click on show results because once you click on show results, it'll open up this page or you'll get a lot more details. Some of the details that you will get is it'll default to results by students. So you will actually see all of your students' names right here and you will see their scores. So you can see how they did on this specific ELA uh, portion of the cast. Now, what else can you do? really cool. If you actually click on this window here, instead of change, uh, looking at students, you can go to writing trait scores. So here you can see how your students did uh, on that performance task. And for high school, we know that they usually do it argumentative. For the younger grades, you might have narrative. So you can click to see which of those uh, assessments you want to see. And so see, you'll see here, the average, right? So you know that for evidence and elaboration, the max score is a four. Here for this school, they got a 2.2. Same thing, organization and purpose, you got a four. Uh, again, that's the average for the school. And under conventions, they got a 1.4 out of a two. So that kind of gives you some insight uh, overall, right? Uh, is there any area? And here's the breakdown out of all of your 11th graders, uh, here looks like most of your students uh, were here kind of in that uh, two, right? Getting a two out of a four. So this might be an area that you might want to look at, uh, right? Is there any area that stands out? For example, I'm noticing here that 26% got a one under conventions. Maybe I focus a little bit more on conventions. Um, all right. So that's pretty much it. Just a short little tutorial to show you where you can find these scores. Uh, watch out for the next little video I'm going to talk about a cool website called Tools for Teachers, where you can access sample essays that are already been scored by, uh, again, the organization. So you can find what a four looks like for certain argumentative essays, maybe what a two, and they also include some commentary as to why those students got those scores. So if you want more information about your students' uh, data, both whether it's CASP or S uh, MAP test scores, or if you want to learn more about tools and strategies, online programs such as how to do podcasting or blogging or book creator, please email me and I can set up a meeting with you individually or for your department. I also have an Instagram page where I'm constantly posting lots of information. And uh, sorry, it is not a two there. It should be a R. Uh, again, and let me change that right now. Sorry about that. And it should be, there you go. So if you go to Garcia, if you have Instagram, you can see some of the updates that I have and some of the tips. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day.